January, the wolf moon. The first full moon is a time of silence and sitting by the home fire. As the wild winter howls, appreciate the warmth of home and family. Now is the time to go within and plan the changes you will make in the spring. Consider now what you will plant. Start a moon journal to record your lunar tides and write down your spring dreams. February, the storm moon. At this moon begin your spring cleaning. Think about what needs to be released and let go of in your life and in your home. Burn white candles and purifying incense. Sweep out the cobwebs and prepare for the new growth of spring. March, the chase moon. This is the moon of the maiden and fairy folk. Gather the seeds of inspiration and imagine what they can grow into. Build an altar to the moon and bless your garden in the moonlight. Prepare the earth for planting and yourself for change. April, the seed moon. At the seed moon plant your seeds of magic, whether it be in a garden, in a pot by the window or simply in your heart. Fill your home with light and flowers, create colorful eggs to decorate it and bring fertility and joy. On the full moon plant herbs. Sing in the rain. May, the hair moon. Now is the time to celebrate life and love. Renew and affirm your sensuality, kindle the fire of romance. Dance and make love by the light of a bonfire, the glow of red candles, or just the full moon's radiance. Free your wild nature. June, the diet moon. See how things are growing. The old has died away to make room for the new. Create an altar of roses and honor the beauty of nature. Send flowers to your mother. Hike to the top of a mountain. July, the Mead Moon. Bask in the warmth of summer and take time for yourself. Relax. Perhaps a moonlit walk by the sea to gather sacred seashells. Make an ocean amulet necklace for one you love. August, the Corn Moon. This is a time to harvest the gifts you have nurtured and give to those who are in need. Collect and store fresh herbs for the coming winter. Bake special breads to honor the God and Goddess of Grain and Growing Things. Share them with your family and friends but save some to offer the earth. September, the Harvest Moon. Drink a toast to Dionysus, the God of Wine and Ecstasy, the Son of the Moon. Gather with friends to celebrate the vine with a bottle of good wine and good cheer. Catch the moon's reflection in your cup and raise it up in salutation. Now drink in her essence and feel the presence of the god and goddess. October, the blood moon. In the past this was the time of hunting and storing. The wheel of the year turns like the cycle of life and death. At this moon the veil is thin, make an altar to honor your ancestors and ask them to guide and protect you. Carve pumpkins and place candles within to light their way. November, the snow moon. Winter's cold descends and outward growth slows. Make this a time for inner growth. Learn a new craft or study thwarts of divination. When the moon is full do a reading for yourself or your friends. Develop your psychic talents. December, the Oak Moon. The time of the sun's return approaches and the moon awaits her lover. Make wreaths of holly, pine, oak, cedar or ivy. On the full oak moon burn them as an offering to the sun and moon. Create a sacred moon ornament to hang on the boughs of your yule tree. The Blue Moon. This is the second full moon which falls within in a single month, it varies each year. When the blue moon occurs plan to do something strange, something you have never done before. Write letters to folks you have not seen for years, plan a surprise for someone you love. Howl at the moon, 